is a call to action in the wake of this tragedy. Newswatch 7 at 9's Waverly Monroe reports on how state senators are reacting and their plan moving forward. A teacher posted on my Facebook saying thoughts and prayers are not enough. She wants to know what Nebraska lawmakers are doing to prevent school shootings like this. We took her concern to state senators. Another school shooting sends shockwaves across the U.S. and State Senator Tony Vargas is aware of that fear here in Nebraska. As a former teacher, I can't imagine going through this with children in my classroom. Many Nebraskans are wondering what our elected leaders are doing to safeguard schools. State Senator Mike Flood says he supported bills to increase behavioral health for juveniles. We need to make sure that our health care system and our juvenile justice system and our justice system provide the continuum of care that includes detention, lock, secure, psychiatric care. Flood, a Republican, seeks to represent Nebraska in Congressional District 1. His Democratic opponent, State Senator Patty Pansy Brooks, says they stopped Nebraska from making concealed carry permits optional, a similar law that Texas passed. Making guns accessible to all people at all times for all reasons is not reasonable. The American people want to feel safer. State Senator Megan Hunt says a small group of Nebraskans are pushing to loosen gun laws. These people have a fanatical, almost religious attachment to what is really a very radical reading of the Second Amendment. But State Senator Steve Erdman says the issue here does not have to do with guns. It makes more sense that we figure out a way to harden these schools to not let people in. Mike Flood agrees. Well, I'm for finding solutions to problems like this but I do not believe infringing on the Second Amendment rights. Is Texas safer by these open carry laws that they've passed? No. Senator Vargas says that lawmakers in Washington are not doing enough to stop these mass shootings. Vargas is running for Nebraska's District 2. His opponent, Congressman Don Bacon, is overseas and sent us this statement. He says that he has worked to stop the violence, including the Young Mental Health and Suicide Prevention Act last year. Bacon also says he was an early supporter of the School Resource Officer Act as the first line of defense in schools. Waverly Monroe, KETV, Newswatch 7.